Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another motivational video and also another truth video and an and a vi advice video. Yeah, it's early in the morning. It's early in the morning on a Saturday morning. I woke up early this morning because I had to get some stuff taken care of. But yeah, I'm giving y'all this content early in the morning. The grind don't stop. The grind don't, yeah, the grind doesn't stop at all. Like, when it comes down to being a YouTuber and doing music, like, I put my blood, sweat, and tears into this. Like, but yeah, yeah, I just want to, like, chat with y'all, and I want to give y'all some advice and some information. I want to chat, I want to talk with y'all about school. If you were a parent, if you were, if you were a teenager, young adult, you could be in college, you could be in high school. If you have a parent that has, like, a kid that's, like, struggling in school right now, I mean, yeah, get, 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 get your kid to watch this video because, like I said, I'm here to help, not harm. But this is one of the reasons why school is a struggle for you. One of the reasons why school is a struggle for you is because you're not really good at being what other people want you to be. See, that's the thing about the school system. The school system, they want you to be what they want you to be and not what you want to be. And not everybody is good at being what other people want them to be. Some people suck at being what other people want them to be. And is it okay if you don't want to be what other people want you to be? Yes, it's okay. Of course it's okay. You can be what you want to be. You can do whatever it is that you want to do for a living. You can create your own reality. You know what I mean? They pretty much program you to think that by you having good grades, being a straight A student, having a 4.0 GPA, having like a 3.7 GPA, they feel they, 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 they pretty much try to program you to make you think that it's the key to success. I mean, you got people that 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 have like a that have like a four point oh GPA and they're successful, but it's like a lot of times people, they just get lost in the sauce because with Rockefeller, he, he wanted to create a nation of workers, not a nation of thinkers. And you see, you got people that have like a 4.0 GPA and they're out here working for the people that have like a 2.7 GPA. Some of them may even be out here working for the people that have like um a 1.5 GPA. It's pretty much like a setup. See, like these people, they get programmed and they get brainwashed to think that they can depend on the school system to create great opportunities for them to be successful. And that's not even the case a lot of times. Because, I mean, I know how it is because I was thinking that going to college and getting a college degree, whether I had like an associate's, a bachelor's or a master's, I was thinking that having a college degree could help me with a career opportunity. But I found out that there's people that have degrees that don't even have a job. There's people that have degrees that don't even like have a career you got people that have degrees that got a job working at McDonald's. Like, don't nobody with a college degree want to work at McDonald's? If that's the case, what was the point of even getting a higher level of education? See, it really just shows you that it's really a waste of time. But yeah, that's pretty much one of the reasons why you have struggles in school. You're not good at being what other people want you to be. Like, you're one of those students that can only be focused on something that you're interested in. You're one of those students that can only be focused on something that you have a passion for. You can only be motivated by something that you have a, a passion for. See, you in the classroom, you, you learning about uh, math, you, you probably learning about polynomials, monomials, and factor and trinomials, and you don't have a passion for that. It's something that you don't really care about. You you in the classroom around a bunch of students, you don't have nothing in common with them. You don't click with them. They teaching you a bunch of information that you don't even care about. So yeah, like that's pretty much one of the reasons why 
people have a hard time in school, why people struggle in school, because they, they, they suck at being what other people want them to be. They're not good at being what other people want them to be. But again, that doesn't mean that you're supposed to just sit there and be lazy and not do your work at all. You still got to do your work. You still got to do the best that you can do. But if you fail, just know that you're not a failure. It's okay. It's okay if if you're not good at being what other people want you to be. Because being what other people want you to be, it can put you in a miserable situation. It can put you in a miserable situation and at a low vibration. So be what you want to be. But yeah, that's pretty much one of the reasons why people have a hard time with school. Why people, why students struggle is because... They're not good at being what other people want them to be. But yeah, I just wanted to share this video with y'all, chat with y'all. I just wanted to give y'all some information, educate y'all, give y'all the facts, give y'all the truth. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video. And again, my new song, Best Rapper Ever, it's on my YouTube channel and it's also on my SoundCloud. You can follow me on SoundCloud at Wally G. Let's run it up. Let's blow it up. Love y'all.